Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing all fine. So today we're going to make some coasters with the bloom technique. So let me show you what I'm going to be using. So my base is the Home Vision wall paint in metallic silver. It's from the Action. There's a local store here. Then uh, my Boomax is, this is my untinted base. It's a high gloss interior water-based lacquer from the Carvey. And then my uh, polyurethane I'm using is the Vallejo Premium Polyurethane Water-Based Gloss Varnish. So those are the ones I'm going uh, are in my mixes and my base. And the coasters I'm going to be using are these little MDF, I think 10 by 10. They have these little stands underneath. And I'm going to put them on my wooden spinner. So... It's about centered and I'm going to be doing these blooms on them letting them dry and adding a resin top coat so I'm pretty excited to see how that works um, I did make the mistake of mixing my paint just before I started so it might be a little bit bubbly so hopefully pouring it in a thin stream farm higher up I will have less bubbles it's the same technique I use if I want to pour like resin and it has too much bubbles. I think that should be more than enough for now. And let's add some colors. I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> I've got these colors mixed. I don't remember what's in all of them. There have been some adding, some taking away. But I want to finish these off so I can use my little jars for new colors. Maybe some bluish green. I might add some uh, magenta on top. Add some gold. A little bit of green. Purple. Some abalone shell. I've got some pink. I'm just gonna use all of them. Okay, so I've got some oxide black with a little bit of burnt umber and Australian floatrol as my uh, cell activator. Let's try and blow it out. Let's see if it wants to collect a little bit more. And in the meantime, I'm just going to add a little bit more, just a tiny bit of my oh, paint to the edges. That was a lot, not a little bit. So I'm just wetting the edges so the paint will flow over them a little bit more easily. Because paint doesn't like to go in dry areas. I might give a little puff in the center. Let's just give it a little spin, see what happens. Let me see if I can get my other spinner here. So I got my little glass spinner here and let's see if I can spin it. Okay. So I put a little bit too much paint on it as well. So let's spin it one more time. I think that looks pretty good. So let's put this to the side and get another one. Okay, so I made a little mistake with the first one and that's to not tape the underside. So I quickly did put some tape on there. And I'm just using really inexpensive tape from the, the Action. So let's try this again. And... Let's see. 
I'm going to put a little bit less on, or at least less colors, because the first was a bit busy. And I'm going to put the gold a little farther down. And use a little less. The same with the abalone shell. Because they tend to be a bit naughty and bully the rest of the colors around. Let's put some cell activator on here. A little bit less. I think it might be a little bit thick because I'm not getting a really nice halo. Okay, let's blow this out. Oh, that was a bad one. Uh. Okay, let's see what the center does if I just leave it for a little bit. Okay, so let's see what happens if I spin it out. I might have to redo this one. Let's see, I saw Karen from Waterfall Acrylics do something with smudging the cells back to the center. Let's just try it. Okay, let's see what happens if I spin it out now. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's try it. Spin it a little harder. Just want a little bit more going off on those corners. I think I like it. Let's do another one. Okay, quickly layer another one. So I did add um, a little bit more flow troll to my selectivator because I made it a three to one when I started out. But I've got a feeling it needed a little bit more. So let's see. It's about 4 to 1 right now. See, now it's getting the halo a lot faster. So cold air, low fan.
So I'm thinking about smooching this one too, but doing it before I spin it out. So let's see. Okay, so let's make sure everything is nice and wet. Okay, let's see how it does when I spin it out like this. Because I really like the movement. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's spin it a little bit more, but just going to get some of this okay so let's spin it i really like that so let's see it's not moving a whole lot. Okay, it feels like it's... It's covered all the sides. I've got all my corners. It doesn't move as much. So I think this one is done. So let's get to the final one. Okay, let's layer the last one. really funky it's a bit dark here Might give it a little spin. First pop some bubbles. Oh, there's something in here. Okay, let's give it 
just a tiny spin. So that can happen when you're using a straw, a bit of moisture can come out, but yeah, this one looks really pretty. So thank you for watching and I'll show you the dry results, bye everyone!